Hi, I'm Sijin Kurian, a fight out of the Athletic Performance Lab in Katy. Uh, when the bell rings, I'm going to stalk my opponent down, take him down, and just make his life miserable for as long as he wants it to be. My name is Dalen Rooster Oligo. I fight out Child's Play MMA. I'm looking forward to this fight, man. I've been training really hard. Um, I don't know too much about my opponent. He's from Texas. I like Texas, too. But I'm going to do what I can to pull out this win. Uh, it's going to be a great fight tonight. So let's get this win and do work, guys. Thank you, guys. Our 10th fight of the evening brought to you by Tafalino's Fine Mexican Restaurant, the official caterer of Sparta Combat League's VIP area tonight. So come to Tafalino's Mexican Restaurant to get a bite of your favorite Mexican dish. When you treat yourself to a flavorful Mexican dish from Tafalino's Mexican Restaurant, you will leave feeling satisfied and full, JR. In this 150 pound, excuse me, 115 pound professional fight, Dylan Oligo representing Child's Place. Wearing the green trunks, facing off against Sinjin Kurian. Mr. Kurian wearing the black and white and green trunks. And uh, coming to us from Texas Sugar is Land. Mr. Kurian. Yeah. And Oligo just up the road around the Castle Rock area is where he trains. Nice hard inside leg kick from Dylan the Rooster Oligo to get this party started. Three five-minute rounds, and when you're standing, you are allowed to knee to the head of your opponent. That's the differences here, making this a professional fight, as well as you're allowed to use the point of the elbow. In our earlier fights, you can hit with the forearm, but not the point of the elbow. And onto his back goes Illigo. He uh, kind of just conceded position there, Ron. I saw that too. So maybe comfortable wanting to work some submissions off of his back, and we'll see what that allows Kyrian to do from the top. I'll tell you what I did like right out of the gates, though. I saw uh, Sinjin Kyrian showing some beautiful footwork as he was circling just before they first engage. Really, very, very nice footwork. And Oligo trying to be active with the hips, but Kyrian doing a really nice job with his heavy hip pressure, not allowing the guard of Oligo to do the work that he wants it to. And now Oligo does a good job getting back to his feet. Really nicely done by the child's play fighter right there. Oh, and a nice inside trip right there from Sinjin Kyrian coming to us from Sugarland, Texas. And Kyrian not able to get off a whole lot with strikes yet. Speaks... Well to the defensive tactics of Aligo, but now Kyrian full mount. See what this allows him to do. Aligo tries for the scramble, ends up face down. Both hooks in for Kyrian, and he's fishing for the rear naked choke. Sinjin Kyrian is a slick fighter here. Very smooth in his transitions is Kyrian. And trying to wrap up hand on bicep there, see if he can pull that for the submission victory here, and good job by Aligo fighting it off, able to pop his head free. So now Kieran going to start to work on the far arm and see if he can pull Oligo over. Just a little bit off to one side is Kieran, and Oligo going to try to shuck him off over his left shoulder, Ron. I thought he was looking for a neck crank or a face crank there for a second, but I guess not. And uh, Kieran showing... A very, very calm, cool, and composed ground attack here. Looking to soften up Oligo with some strikes to kind of get him free and expose an opening. Yeah, using those punches, try to get oh. Oligo to lift his chin, and that looks like it's in there deep. Oligo going two-on-one with the hand control. Fight hands, fight hands. That's what his corner's telling him right now, and that's what's keeping him safe. And now it's on the chin. So not as much of a choke, but definitely a pained look on the face of Oligo. Oh, and he and continues deep. trying to peel hands off. And just small, minute adjustments by Kyrian, but Oligo fights his way through it. Nicely done by the child's play fighter. Good heart shown by Dylan Oligo right there. Not giving in to that submission attempt there and really kind of hanging tough with it. And ends up 
sweeping, reversing, and now ends up on top here of uh, Sinjin Kurian. And Kurian, we're going to see what he has off of his back now. He's been almost the entirety of this fight working from top position. Yeah. So a little bit of favor for Dylan Oligo now. See if he uh, is able to get his ground and pound attack started. And there it comes. Good call, JR. And Kurian showing good hips, gets his feet up, pops wow, back to his feet. Quick. And immediately going back to his wrestling game. Looking for the pick up and dump. Oligo has head control wrapped up, but Kurian really slick job of coming off to the side. Yeah, this kid is smooth. That keeps him from being in danger of being choked. Ligo can hold on and have head control, adjust the position of his opponent a little bit, but no real danger of the choke. That's why we saw Kirian skip off to the side. And again, a nice bump and roll by Ligo. We did see Sinjin Kirian establishing a neon belly, but Dylan Ligo doing a nice job of bucking him off and reversing the position. And now he's in a top position here, looking to get his leg free as Sinjin Kurian's got a, a good hold of his uh, right leg. Yeah, good job with the lockdown by Kurian as well as controlling the head position. Basically has Oligo just in a lengthened out position. Makes it difficult for him to posture up and start to get his striking game going. There's the 10 second clock. A little bit of a scramble for position here to end round number one and we'll be back with the second. Very, very interesting first round as the first round ends. Couple of deep breaths by both fighters. Referee Oscar Martinez waiting for that cage door to be locked and we'll be off with 115 pound second round action. And Ron, these guys expended a tremendous amount of energy throughout the entirety of round number one. We always talk about what great shape these lighter weight fighters are in. So we'll see what they have left in the tank here for the second round because that all grappling action that they had fighting for position was really grueling. Welcome to the world of wrestling, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. And immediately we see Kurian wants this wow. fight back on the mat and able to get it there. Wow. I am really, really impressed with Sinjin Kurian today. Not only is he coming from far away, but he's also showing us a very, very sharpened set of skills here against a very game Dylan Oligo. Oligo had head control, wanted to try to wrap it up, carrying off to one side just a little bit inside the half guard of Oligo, able to defend that choke and scramble for position here. And Oligo, like he showed us multiple times in round number one, able to escape off the bottom. You can tell he's been working on that aspect of his game. He comes from a very strong Taekwondo and striking background does Oligo, and I'm really seeing big improvements, especially in his positional game on the ground. Yeah, and and, and you know, Dylan Oligo is a guy that fights everybody, so it's it's not it's not as if he hasn't seen things like this before. It goes to you know speaks to the credit of Sinjin Kurian of just being a very very well versed mar mixed martial artist. And Kurian with his back against the cage, see if he's able to affect that to wall walk. Right now he's just hunting the right arm of Oligo. Probably going to try to use that to set up as a sweep. I doubt that he's actually looking at it as a submission. Sometimes you can turn that into a Kimura, but especially with only having half guard off the bottom, that'd be a difficult touch. And there oh. it is, gets the sweep with it. Nice job by Kurian and maintains control of the arm. Nice job by Oligo securing his legs there to keep that arm from being isolated. Now Kurian starting to work some ground and pound. Good job by Oligo staying active, not allowing Kurian to posture and start getting the striking game going. And Oligo staying calm too, you know, credit to him. Staying very calm, cool, and composed 
even though he's got, you know, carrying the anaconda on his back, <laughs> but he's doing an outstanding job of, of really preventing himself from getting into some deep trouble here with a, a super skilled kid like uh, like Kyrian. And a body triangle off of his back for Kyrian, shutting down the hips and the breathing a little bit, sort of compresses the diaphragm of Aligo and makes it very difficult to try to recover energy. Sometimes in this position, the person on the bottom is actually having to do a lot of work trying to make the adjustments, but that body triangle will really take a lot of energy out of Aligo. So true, yeah. And we're... We're watching here. Oh, this looks tight. It looks as though Kyrian's got yep. Aligo under the chin again. Starting to sneak it in. Aligo able to escape a real deep submission attempt in round number one. And again, working the working the two-on-one wrist control. And the referee actually went in there to make sure that Aligo was still conscious. I saw the same thing that he saw. A great, An excellent job again by Oscar Martinez. And Kyrian... Kind of staying really calm, looking around, making the small adjustments that he needs to, looking for advice from his corner, and speaks well to the defense of Aligo. Aligo looking to affect a roll off the cage here. Much better position for Aligo. Has his shoulders down on the mat. That is just a world of difference for the child's play MMA fighter right now. Yeah, without a, without a question, and it's it's really and Aligo, taxing. Excuse me, Ron. Aligo going to work an ankle lock on Kyrian right there because Kyrian has his ankles crossed. And if Aligo straightens out his left leg, he can start to put a lot of pressure on that ankle. And now we see Kyrian popping that foot free. And he looks like he's cranking that face crank right now pretty hard on Aligo. He's looking to get under that chin, and he's got under that chin. But again, Aligo, slippery as can be, gets out of a very dangerous position and ends up on top in his own corner, now getting instruction from his coaches as he's got Sinjin Kyrian up against the cage here, and and this is just like watching two snakes go at it. And Kyrian setting up an arm bar here. Did a nice job hooking the leg. Didn't quite get his left foot where he wants it. Now he has it momentarily, but Aligo, of course, aware of it. Peels that foot off, and a good job turning it into a roll to come up topside by Kyrian. And we've always talked about when out-of-towners come to fight here in Colorado, usually the second to third rounds is where we see that huge loss of air and oxygen and I'm curious to see if we're going to see that out of these two 115ers here from uh, putting on a spectacular show last time I saw defense this good it was the Denver Broncos <laughs> here kitty kitty Round three in our first professional MMA event of the evening. Dylan Oligo in the green trunks. Sinjin Kyrian in the black and white trunks. Touch gloves for the final five minutes of what has been an all grappling affair. So if you're in the corner of uh, Dylan Oligo, what are you telling him, JR, as his coach? What, would you, what kind of advice would you give him? Work your hands, not your kicks. Oligo is a great kicker, and he tends to... Uh, try to utilize that part of his game, but every time he picks a leg up, Kieran able to grab hold of him and put him on the mat. Like that? And there it is, yeah. So Aligo, uh, you know, if this comes back to standing, probably going to want to try to work more hands, see if he can keep Kieran from off-balancing him like this. But we've seen it time and time again, probably four or five times in this fight, Aligo able to get off of his back, turn the tides. He's done an outstanding job of reversing position when he's in really dangerous positions which is a credit to his defensive grappling skills. Um, and how about if you're in the corner of Kyrian, what are you telling him to, to, to you know, continue for this third and final round? 
more striking on the ground to try to soften the opponent. You t- you just talked about it, the great defense of Aligo. You're not going to catch this guy just in grappling and put him into a submission. You're going to have to soften him up with some strikes. Great little scramble by both of these guys here. Kirian showing just an outstanding wrestling game. I'm super impressed with this kid. He just has such a knowledge of where to end up before the position is going to happen. He knows where he wants to be able to put himself there as opposed to having to react to what's happening. He's more in control of where it's going to end up two or three moves out. Kinesthetic awareness, huh? Well played, sir. (laughs) For those Vision Quest fans. And one more time, Aligo showing his scrambling abilities, but Kirian comes to the back, one hook in solid, left hook in, not threaded all the way through yet. See if he's able to pop those hips and flatten Aligo, but Aligo has done a really great job every time Kirian's had the back of not allowing himself to be flattened. And there's some striking from Kirian, probably the best punches of the fight. So far, and and I tell you, like one of the interesting things that's going on with uh, Sinjin Kirian here is he's probably able to hear the coach's instructions for Dylan Oligo. It was actually a tactic I used to use while wrestling quite a bit. I'd stand in my opponent's corner just listening to their instructions so I knew what was coming. (laughs) And Oligo not completely escaped yet. Good job with his hips and his shoulders starting to turn toward being face down on top of Kieran. But Kieran does a really, really swell adjustment there. Uh, gets that body triangle, and that's what's keeping Illigo from being able to turn in all the way. And he's really been able to to master controlling Illigo so far, utilizing that body triangle. And it's and I got to tell you, I, I I think it's it's actually given him not just the ability to keep Dylan Illigo from striking him, but it's also given him the ability to look for that submission that you keep talking about, almost looking to soften him up to that opening to where he can take advantage and finish. Aligo has to be careful here. He's arching his back, yes. trying to get the roll, which is an okay thing, but he was completely extending his head Correct. and really opening up his throat. And we've seen Kyrian hunt for that rear naked choke a number of times, but Aligo shows us he knows what's going on and gets the turn one more time. There's got to be a bit of a sense of desperation in the corner of Aligo. They have to be telling him he needs to try to work for a finish here. It's been pretty much positional control uh, for the majority of the time for Kirian. Absolutely. If right. I was a judge, I'd be scoring it in favor of Kirian, just, you know, basically by ride time. And, and control, just like you said, you know, outstanding control, constantly looking to hunt for submissions. Now he's looking up or looking to lock up a Kimura here on Aligo, but Aligo doing a nice job of shouldering down at him. Yeah, pressure's down, and Aligo's also brought his right knee into play, uh-huh. looping over his own hand. That keeps carrying from pulling that arm away from the body, and right there momentarily had it away from the body, but Aligo aware of it, snakes his arm out, and uh, now that he has his hands free, let's see if Aligo can start to posture for some ground and pound. And Aligo getting off a couple of body shots here, but... Sinjin Kirian in absolutely zero danger right now and in total control. And what I like from Kirian off of his back is he's doing a good job of switching back and forth between controlling the head and controlling the arms. Absolutely right. It makes Illegal have to adjust his position, even though he's the one that, you know, theoretically is controlling position. Ten second clacker is sounded, and Illegal's going to get off a couple elbows before the end of the fight. We'll take it to the judges. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Matt scores about 29 28. Judge Ramirez scores about 29 28. And Judge Garcia scores about 30 27. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Sinjin Kirian! Sean, the cage with Sinjin. Take me through that fight, man. It looked like you wanted to be on the ground the whole time, but that's where you ended up. You ended up with the W. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thanks for coming to see us from Texas. Congratulations on the major. Give it up once again for your winner, Sujin Kyrgyz. Please direct your attention to the screens around the mile once again as we get you prepared for the pro main event.